Because five Psycho Rangers wasn't enough, Boom Studios felt the need to include a new add-on to the team, which is none other than the Psycho Green Ranger. We're going to be taking a look at him and talking a little bit about the character's origin in just a moment. Alright, welcome back to the Spotlight Reviewing Station. I'm your host, Reds Power, and let's take a look at the new addition to the Power Rangers Lightning Collection from the Psycho Team. Here we have Psycho Green Ranger. But before we take a look at the action figure, let's put him aside for a moment so we can take a look at his packaging as per take of every single video review on this channel. Up close in your face. So here's the front of the packaging. It's your basics, except we've got a green background, which looks good for a Green Ranger here. Power Rangers Lightning Collection in space Psycho Green Ranger. I realize the Pink Ranger fell down, but don't worry, I'll pick her up in a moment. Moment. Hasbro's logo, ages four plus, warning choking hazard on this side. We got the rest of that lovely artwork of the Green Ranger, Power Rangers in space above that. On this side of the packaging, there's that artwork again of the Green Psycho Ranger onto the back of the packaging. And here we got a promotional shot of the Psycho Green Ranger with his trusty dagger, which has a blast effect piece on it. And then we've got the Psycho Wave add-on, which we'll look at in just a moment. That's really it for the packaging. There's our little sad on your face, which I didn't make mention of in the previous video, but now I'm making up for it now. All right, that's it for the packaging. Not much else to show off here. It is lovely for what it is, but it's all about the figure here. So let's go ahead and bring the figure back to center stage lower to the camera so we can see said figure and let me go ahead and take care of that problem back there right so now we can get to work here let's talk about the origin of this character real quickly and i'm going to do this as brief as possible i don't know much about the lore of the psycho green ranger i've only found out some information via wiki this character's name is originally trek yeah funny um anyway he is the same kind of alien breed as Trip from Power Rangers Time Force. He comes from that exact same world. And uh, he had a team of Rangers as well. He was the sixth Ranger of the team, which were the uh, Super Sentai Five Man over in Japan, which in uh, contrast to America, which was none other than in uh, Power Rangers Super Mega Force, it was known as the Supersonic Rangers. With that said, uh, he goes all psycho, kills off his team, reasons being I have no idea, but then he runs into Dark Spectre and makes a deal with him and becomes the very first Psycho Ranger. So yeah, I took a moment to look at some information online about the guy and that's all I know. Um, also, there's now names for all the Psycho Rangers, our original Core 5. I don't know their names for certain, but I believe... Uh, the Red Ranger is called Virgil. Yellow Ranger is called Yellow. <laughs> Go figure. Pink Ranger, her name skipped me at the moment. I do apologize for that. But I'm sure somebody's going to put it down in the comment section. Anyway, the Blue Ranger's name is Axe. <laughs> and the black ranger's name must be let me guess old spice anyway there you go that's my knowledge about what's been added to the psycho ranger lore thanks to the boom studio comics now with that introduction out of the way let's talk about the action figure here's the green psycho ranger and it is what it is it is a repaint of the male mold of the psycho rangers that we have seen time and time again so we've seen it from the very first run of the two-pack with Lost Galaxy Red Ranger and Psycho Red Ranger. Then we had the GameStop exclusive single box release of the Psycho Blue Ranger. And then we've got the five-pack which I previously reviewed, which is back there. So, it is what it is. Like I said, it's just copy and paste with a different paint job and some different accessories. So, we'll have a quick look around at the character. Looks good looks like the cleanest paint job out of all the Psycho Rangers, which is surprising enough since this is just your basic $20 action figure here. I mean, yeah, that, that's really good. I mean, there, there's no sloppiness at all. That's really impressive. They are getting better and better every wave. If only they can keep up with this and improve on it. Just pick up that ball and run with it. Don't fumble. Keep at it, Hasbro. Keep at it. Let's go for the articulation because you probably forgot. He's got a loose ball joint at the head. I'll probably have to touch that up, but he does have a hinge joint at the neck for up and down. You also have your universal shoulder joints, which is 
Got a little bit of some clicking here, but it's hindered because of that shoulder pad. We can get a full 360 rotation. We got bicep swivel above all that. We have single, sorry, <laughs> double jointed elbows that gets way more than nine degrees of play. We have rotation at the wrist with hand joint for inward and outward movement. Your standard ball jointed upper torso, which does get a lot of flex, also included with the ab crunch with that much going back and this much going forward, which is really good. We got the ball joints at the hips with this much kicking forward, that much going back. And you cannot pull off a full JCVD split, but that's common with the Lightning Collection figures. We have a thigh swivel cut, double jointed knees that gets way more than 90 degrees of play. And we got that swivel cut above the boot section with the up and down for the hinge at the foot, which also includes the lovely ankle rocker pivot that once again, only Hasbro knows how to do best, especially with their Marvel Legend figures. So yeah, I mean, that's basically it for the Green Psycho Ranger. It is what it is, copy and paste from the male Psycho Ranger molds that we've seen before, just in a different color, the colors of the rainbow. So let's talk about what is new with this figure. Well, let's go through the accessories because that's what's new here. We've got our standard balled up fist here, which I think the figure was previously packaged in. And then I switched them out for the open hand, so eh, there's that. He has also got the Psycho Wave Energy hand here, which does have its own individual sculpting, which looks great. Done in that clear green plastic, which is painted over for the hands all around. A nice. And then, of course, we've got the Blast of Fed piece that you saw on the back of the packaging which is just the one that we've seen time and time again with a few other Lightning Collection figures such as Mighty Morphin White Ranger. Only this one is done in that translucent green, which does make it look better. And if I can find the uh, little slit for it here, I'll showcase that the dagger can actually be applied. And there you go. It looks great. But let's put that away here and take a look at the main feature that comes with this figure. His weapon of choice, a dagger. Yeah, because why not? I mean, it's, it's not that we haven't seen any Green Ranger before with a dagger, right? So, I'm, okay, joking aside, it is a beautiful piece. It looks so edgy. That is some really nice work here. And we've got, of course, that, um, and that logo right there, which I'm assuming is the Psycho Ranger logo. Looks good, it's on both sides. It's trimmed out in gold. We've got, of course, the green paint here for the blade itself. And the actual outer portion of it's done in that nice high gloss silver. With the rest of it pretty much done in the uh, black molded plastic that it is. And it is a little flimsy, a little rubbery, but not too bad. I'm sure it can hold up, especially in the heat. So we can put that in his hands there. And complete the look and he can summon his uh i i don't know what he would have he doesn't have a zord none of the psycho rangers have zord so what am i talking about anyway that's the uh psycho green ranger there's no need to do a size comparison because i mean i can just put him back here with the rest of the psycho rangers as he's one in the same scale with the male rangers compared to the female rangers who may be just a little smaller so there you have it folks, that's our look at the In Space Psycho Green Ranger and that will complete our Psycho Rangers that I have to review for you guys this week. If you have any questions or comments, you know what to do, hit it down below in the comment section of the video. If you like today's video review, hit the thumbs up button, don't forget to give me a sub up. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down, don't forget to throw in the towel. And until next time my friends, this is your unprofessional toy reviewer Reds Power sign off saying thank you very much for watching this and I will see you whenever you see me.